This skin is called Acid Rain and it modifies your Grendel with a unique toxic looking green visual. I'll show you exactly how to get that as well as loads more weapon skins in Starfield. But before then, let's explain exactly how you can use weapon skins in the game. Now there's good news and bad news here. Let's start with the good news. There are indeed weapon and armor skins in Starfield. But the bad news is right now you can't freely apply them to either your weapons or your armor. Even though there's a dedicated slot to add skins to your gear at weapon and spacesuit workbenches, you can't actually use it. That is aside from with the three skins you get as pre-order bonuses. And even then, these only go on three specific pieces of gear, which are the Cutter, which you can use the old Mars skin on, the Constellation Helmet, which you can use the Constellation skin on, and the Constellation Spacesuit, which you can use the Constellation skin on again. These three pieces are Side, currently you can't use skins of any kind to any of your gear. There are unique weapon skins in the game which I'll show you the locations of in this video but just to clear up some confusion why is there a dedicated skin category on crafting tables if you can't use it? There's a theory that it's so Bethesda can sell you more skins later on. They've already sold us one with that constellation skin pre-order bonus so the fact there's a category suggests they're going to do the same later. They cleverly avoided having any sort of microtransactions at launch which would have given them some bad press and probably resulted in a bit of drama so in PR terms it's better to stealthily introduce some small microtransactions later so as not to detract from the launch itself if you remember back to Oblivion which was a long time ago granted but still Bethesda introduced horse armor way after launch so it's definitely something they've done in the past also data miners have apparently found code for an in-game store so get ready for a ton of paid for skins very soon. That said, we can already get some great weapons with unique skins attached. It's just that you can't then take these skins and apply them to other weapons. To put it another way, there are no collectible skins in Starfield as of yet that you can keep in your inventory. Skins right now are permanently attached to weapons. And those weapons are, firstly, Hela's Cutter. This is a skin for the Cutter weapon, which gives it a nice yellow wrapping which changes up the usual red color scheme. You can find it on Vectera, which is the game's starting planet. Find it in the Narion system and touch down at the mining post where your adventure began. Head right and go towards the building here. Interact with the terminal and you'll be able to open the door. Now you can't do this at the beginning of the game as the terminal is broken, but someone seemed to have fixed it in the interim as you can now head inside and grab Hella's cutter. is right there on the right, a thing of beauty. Hella, if you remember, is your mate from the mines, but I'm sure he doesn't mind us taking his cutter, which I have now renamed Griff's Cutter. Next up we have this weapon which gives a lovely shiny skin to the Razorback Pistol. This is one of my favourite Starfield skins, giving the barrel this nice kind of brushed metal effect with an intricate pattern that catches the light. And I love the white handle which is mixed with those little gold extras, looks like a really luxurious weapon fit for a Space Ranger. Which is exactly what you'll need to be in order to get this weapon because it's acquired when you complete the Free Star Rangers mission called Deputize. This Free Star Rangers questline can be started by walking through the main gates of Aquila and getting involved in the bank heist you can see straight ahead. And it's not just a skin that makes the justified difference, but this weapon also has some additional mods bolted on for good measure, like the long barrel which increases its damage. Onto the Justifier now. The Justifier is a unique skin for the Lawgiver rifle. I mean, it's classified as a rifle, but it really functions like a shotgun given the usual close up circumstances in which you'll normally use it. And the skin produces this sort of oil slick effect on the barrel, which I think is really, really nice. It suggests to me that Bethesda, when they do introduce more skins, will actually have some pretty cool ideas for them with different textures and patterns, not just changing the color and calling it a day. To get 
get your hand on the Justifier, you have to complete the Hammer Falls mission, which is towards the end of the Free Star Rangers questline. As well as the nice skin, this weapon also has a laser sight, short scope, muzzle brake, along with a hair trigger, making it outperform the original Lawgiver weapon in every conceivable way. So that's two weapons that come out of the Free Star Rangers questline. Definitely worth doing that. The modified Equinox. There are a few Equinox skins in the game, which is good because this is one of the most attractive guns visually, in my opinion. The first is this sort of 80s looking one that has a multicolored stream of wires running down the side that looks a bit like the logo of the ZX Spectrum. And I can imagine there being one or two old school fans on Starfield's weapon design team. As for where you can get this, it's purchased in the well at a shop called Apex Electronics. This is located here. Here. Another Equinox skin you can get is this, a nice cream colored one offset with shiny blue piping. Compared to the default Equinox skin, which is this matte black affair, is much more preferable, I think. Now, unfortunately, I can't remember where exactly I got this skin, but hey, if I just picked it up randomly without even knowing, it makes me think there are way more skins just hiding away in Starfield. So if you found a weapon skin or armor skin in the game, let me know about it down in the comments. Onto the XM2311 now. This is a unique variant of the old Earth pistol with better damage and increased accuracy, as well as a massive suppressor fitted onto it if you want to be a bit more sneaky. Also, the skin gives it this much more modernized look that would fit right in with some of Starfield's desert environments. You get this gun when you finish the first contact quest, which triggers automatically when you fast travel to the Porima system. If you want a full walkthrough for that, click the thing that just popped up above. Now, if we compare this skin to the standard Old Earth pistol, which looks like this, the XM2311 is definitely better visually for me and a great template for when Bethesda eventually does introduce weapon skins. It's just calling out for some Call of Duty camo and maybe a dangly Dorito attachment. And let's not forget Sir Livingston's pistol it is not technically a skin, more of a modified version of the original Old Earth pistol, but it's got some sentimental value Value because it's given to you by your parents. If you choose the kids stuff trait when making your character, they'll give you this weapon a few hours into the game. It's pretty powerful and comes with two mods, which are large magazine and high velocity. Oh, ain't that the truth. With both of our pensions, we still couldn't afford it. And finally, the last skin I found in Starfield is, as I mentioned at the start of the video, the Acid Rain. If you want to get your hands on this modified Grendel, which has extras like corrosive rounds, a tactical grip, a laser sight, and a compensator, then head again to Apex Electronics in the well. If you need a little reminder where the well is, here's the quickest route from the landing pad. Once you get there, you have to do a short quest, which I'll explain when we reach Apex Electronics. Okay, now we're at Apex Electronics, all we have to do is talk to Vicente Salinas, who's sitting off to the right. He wants us to collect a mysterious package for him from Red Mile, so no more. So head to Red Mile, follow the marker to the package, then bring it back to him and he'll start selling you his wares. This includes the Acid Rain and the modified Equinox. So two weapon skins are available from this guy. I can open my doors to Jose. Ah, excellent. Uh, Salinas Hardware is now open for business. Feel free to come around and peruse my wares any. I help out Henry from time to time. Okay then, come on back. I'm sure you will be pleased. All right. 
So those were all the weapon skins I found so far in Starfield, but how about you guys? Let me know down in the comments if there are any skins you found I didn't mention in the video. I don't know about you, but the skin aspect of Starfield kind of feels a bit incomplete at this point, like the functionality is clearly in there, but it seems like Bethesda ran out of time to actually add the skins themselves, the actual bit that matters. So while we can't freely add skins to our weapons at this point, it's definitely coming soon, I think, and until then, we can just keep finding these unique weapon skins in the game. It's still pretty early days. But anyway, that just leaves me to say once again, thank you for watching this video. Do be sure to leave me a like if you enjoyed it. And for more Starfield guides, subscribe to the channel.